Alright y'all morning, welcome to another episode of Tobago Fishing with M. Stifler. Right now, I am on my way to Trinidad to go by the monkeys to get a couple of stuff because I've been complaining and saying that Tobago has nothing good. Also, I'm going to be collecting my rod. I sent it to be repaired, it had some bad guides, so I hit up a guy named Toast Customs to do a total overhaul on the rod. So, I would assist you in the water, but intro drop the player from Tobago fishing right now I'm at the monkeys and I just got a very very special packet from mr. monkey himself look at that we get fish bites we have buck tails we have spoons we have top water laws we have everything in here and you all see why I like to come down to Trinidad to get most of my stuff Tobago doesn't have it but hopefully we might convince him to open up our Tobago branch <laughs> That has been my Trinidad trip. I hope you guys saw a little bit of what Trinidad, I'm a Trinidad store does look like. You know, you got to see a little bit of the monkeys. And I'm really, really thankful to um, get to go over there. And I've been in the monkeys about 10 times already. And it's the first time I actually got to meet the guy. And he's a really, really cool guy. I definitely will be going back. I want to get, I want to get a pen live liner. I, I want to do a video on that. So I'm going to Trinidad. To get a pen live liner the next time I, I am over there or when, when I accumulate the money and I'm going to show you all something really cool about that reel. Another part is I would have sent my nine foot which is my main rod 
to Anthony, which is um, who has a business called Tools Customs. Right? Um, what he does, he's like a fishing rod and fishing reel guru. My original problem was the rod guides. So the ugly stick does come with a sort of rod guide like this. I don't know if you can see it. It's a sort of normal looking guide. They're okay, but if you're using braid, the braid will eat into the rod guide eventually. They're not really the best. It's a kind of ceramic material, but the rod itself is really, really good. I've never had any problem with the rod, just that the guides eventually just eat them. I would have reached out to him and asked him to do a rod guides replacement for the 9 foot. And he was telling me that he could alter the rod to make it more efficient based on what I want. He asked me if I wanted for jigging, if I wanted to cast out further, if I wanted to sling laws, if I wanted for more slinging beat. So he could um, beef it up or find a way to make it cast longer. Or it's like, it's like a mad scientist with fishing rods. So it was really, really great. Right, so this you see in the old guides, the old guides. I don't know how clear that is. He put on these new heavy duty guides, right? Especially the one in top. Your top guide does mostly give you the most problems because that is what I hit now, boy. But everything is brand new. Let me put that the everything. Look at that. So you see how this one has a sort of three prong. Sort of thing to hold the guide and this one which is the old one has only like one these guides wouldn't come out as easy the inserts wouldn't come out as easy and these guides more suited for breed he asked me what i wanted it for and i told him and he took down his notes and he built the rod over from the ground up right the rod cast is completely different the rod um i could put a lot more pressure on bigger fish which was one of my um which is something that i wanted also i wanted it to feel a lot more comfortable throwing slightly heavier lures than the rod is supposed to because my rod is supposed to cast um three quarter ounce and i just find myself casting one ounce spoons or maybe one and a half ounce spoons but gently not to not to damage the rod but now since he revamped it it's casting the heavier lures like the one ounce and the one and a half ounce are a lot easier and it's still throwing the lighter laws with the same sort of finesse it's like he expanded the rod throwing range and make it a whole lot more comfortable look at this you see that there toes custom rod it is my first rod i've ever had customized specifically oh this is it with the 20 pound braid i don't use 15 pound braid for laws but as night fishing so i'll leave on 20 pound braid you see that and everything feels a whole lot different look at this guide look at this guy look how heavy duty this guide is perfect for braid the guide is stern the guide is strong the size of the guide is great he is very very professional he asks you what you want the rod for which so he could know how to build so it isn't like just giving you something he wants to make each pro project each project um tailored around the needs of the user so i wanted my insurer rod to cast laws and get more casting distance with better guides and to throw slightly heavier spoons that it already can it come out perfect it handles bigger fish easier it casts a lot easier and it just feels like a completely different monster it's a different rod your rod is very important your rod is like the car the wheel is like the engine in my book i could be wrong he builds rods themselves so he, he showed me some of his personal masterpiece um that some all rounders that could cast well that could you could use it for jigging that have a strong backbone and they were amazing i tried to break one he actually told me to try to break one and it's not like it's a thick rod he tried to, to break it and i could not break it i got on any great product um i fully recommend tools customs i know some people kind of bummy and say oh god maybe it might be a little bit more money or at least gonna buy a new rod no it's different I don't believe there's anything in show that could break this rod right now. I don't think that I would need to get any other insure rods to fill this position. And he did a very neat job. Look at that. He changed the guys. Look how smooth um, his patchwork is. I don't even say patchwork. Watch how smooth the you know the the work is. Like it's like a brand new rod. A brand new rod. Brand new opportunities. I'm very, very happy and very thankful to Tools Customs for doing that whole revamp. Hit him up. 
let him show you what he has and talk to him you might be a little nervous because you know you could get a, a rod these days really cheap 100 200 dollars but if you know you're serious about it you don't know when you might hook up on a big fish you want your rod to be able to cast further you want your rod to be able to handle it and give it a sort of pressure you don't want your rod to break get something good thank you everybody this has been an m stifler video and also a tools customs rod review this is my first custom rod i'm loving it other than that remember everyday fishing is a good day